Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Last time we left off, we had done the winter event, uh, and got our chocobo some new clothes. So we're gonna go back to the storyline here, and work on this some more. I also noticed that the last video I did of the storyline before the holiday event got a weird glitch in the middle of it where it was basically showing a bit of my audacity meter, my recording meter, in the middle of the uh, video basically the entire time. I have no idea what caused that, I've never seen that glitch before, and there's no possible way it should have shown up in the video because the uh, audacity uh, window is not even in the recording box that I use, so I have no idea how that actually happened. In any case, let's go ahead and talk to Lucia here. It looks like we're going to get a new emote here, victory, nice. Sir Aramek and Forrester, the Alliance leaders, have agreed to his proposal. The Grand Malay will be held here, in the shadow of the Gates of Judgment, and inside the capital. An announcement has been made, and allied forces are currently en route. The eyes of Ishgar are upon us, Narn, we must not fail. Rare opportunity to see yourself put against the allied forces outside of Kartnu, perhaps. I would not miss this for the world. Alright. Okay, we have to actually go out to the Central Highlands here. We basically, like, never go this way. <laughs> Alright, we're back here at the, uh, steps. There she is. I say, when you didn't appear, I began to question. Nothing. Never mind. I am to think that we are mere moments away from facing the cream of Erzel's soldiery in battle. That I am a mere, um... But what if... Uh, what am I saying? I have to stop imagining the worst. I must think of the victory, of the glory. Of the stories I'll tell Horot when he awakes. Yep, I am ready. Let's go ahead and do this. By the fury, how could I forget? Father bid me to pres present this to you. No, it's sudden, but we believe the men would find it expiring if you bore the colors of House four times to the battle. Pray do us this honor. Alright, so we got some glamour armor here. Pretty nice. present heed well the rules of engagement Grim Melee is a large scale battle in which an allied company of Udon, Brindani, and Limousine forces will be pit against a company of Ashgarden forces. When a combatant is incapacitated, the opposing company will be awarded tactical points. First company to attend the designated tactical rating of 100 points is declared the victor. During the Grand Melee, officials may mark certain combatants with Fury's gaze, which will indicate neither taking them to their company's flag. While defeating most companions will award you a company 1 tactical point, defeating marked companions will award you a company 10 tactical points. Marked combatants also possess enhanced attributes, rendering them more powerful and more difficult to defeat. Defeating and def defending and defeating these companions is key to victory. For the 
honor and the glory of Ishgard. Ready then. Very well. Brave men and women of the Eorzean Alliance, let the grand melee begin! All right, let's do this. I guess we're just gonna have to run around and beat up as many people as we can. Go ahead and bring him down. We're barely keeping ahead. Got down. Okay, we're definitely getting there. Yep, we're up 70 now. I think there's one over here somewhere that's being, uh... Yep, right there.
flame veteran. Did we do it? Psychops, Psychops, everyone on their guard. All forces fall back. Continue the melee, I will deal with him. Hmm, Daft Sod. You heard the man back to it. All forces, form a line on Narn, now. Yeah, so we're doing this, huh? Well that, I will not lie, I was hoping it would come to this. So then, shall we dance? Damn it all. Alright, let's do this. What are you doing? Barely dodged that. Facing the wrong way, apparently. Go ahead and put my hollow ground on. Okay, it wasn't as strong as I thought. And down. Did... did she win? Then we... we...
victory is ours! Ishgard! Ishgard! <laughs> well fought! Well fought, my friend! You truly are the warrior of warriors. Take the fury you were on our side. My lungs are burning, and I can barely stand. I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. We did. We faced the Alliance's best, and together, with one heart, with one purpose, we prevailed. After a thousand years of hardship, of strife and bloodshed, we are strong enough to rise to any challenge, be it on the battlefield or beyond. The future holds so much promise, so much joy. We need only show them the way. Magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the Grand Companies are honored to have been bested by such valiant warriors. The honor was ours, Your Grace. I am pleased to see that Ishgard's proud martial tradition is being upheld. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Eorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. I note that our friend elected to take the field in Ishgardian colors. At my behest, Your Grace. If we have given offense, the blame lies with me. Sir Knight, it was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. On the subject of surprises, I could not help but marvel at the passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen, given the troubling reports we have received of late. I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation, and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into the future. Ah, yes. The people. Change is indeed a perilous thing. For we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard, and for you. Well, that made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. Guardians certainly seem happy with themselves. I, for my part, am merely glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for them. <clears throat> Tis but a scratch, I assure you. And I will not suffer you to worry over me. 
Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. Make that two dozen. Still, as Yestola never tires of telling me, we can but face them head on one at a time. One day at a time. As Minfilia would have done. Alright, well I definitely saw some differences between the recording and the audio file, so I'm sure I'm going to have to edit that up a bit later. Dolls balls, I'd forgotten what it's like to feel so alive. Not since leaving the blood sands have I had the privilege, not since the bull of Alimigo hung up his swords. Back then the outcome may have been different, but I do not begrudge you for your victory. I know how far you've come and how much you've endured. Our fight only confirmed it. We shall have to do this again someday, when time allows. I shall look forward to it. Now go, go to the Ish Guardians and celebrate your victory. You have earned it. Come, Pippin. Her grace is expecting us. Lead on, father. Alrighty. I guess Thancred wants to talk to us, so let's go ahead and get over there. Said your goodbyes. How many years I've known Raban, I've never recalled him looking so happy in defeat. And everything seems to fall into place, has it not? The Ishgarians have claimed their symbolic victory, and is there any alliance has been strengthened in the process? Be proud, Narn, you made this happen. I have earned the emote of victory. Nice. We've done it, nay, you have done it. You have brought us the victory we so desperately needed. There is not left but to return to the capital. Come, let us see what reception awaits us. Alright, let's see what happens now. Concern, my lord, but I have largely recovered from my ordeal, and I have naught but several scars to show for it, which I have been told some women may find appealing. I see. And to think I was worried sick of you. I'm not sure I understand, my lord. Well, let's put that theory to the proof, shall we? My, my, my lord? It would seem that a great many things have occurred in my absence. I thought I might begin to make amends by welcoming you in person. The messengers spared not their chocobos to bring us word of your victory in the grand melee. I cannot well describe our relation when we heard the news. It called to mind the day we rejoined the Aeorzean Alliance, and I glimpsed hope rekindled in the eyes of the people. The Fury herself ushers us into a new era. Sir Emmerich, the time is now. Aye, that it is. Reconvene the conference and summon Vidofnia to Falcon's Nest. We will make peace with Race Belga's brood and hasten this bloody war to its end. Yes, Lord Commander. I will send word to Artoirel and bid him resume preparations. Emanuele, you'll place yourself at your brother's disposal. He'll be glad of your assistance. <laughs> no. 
No stopping it now, is there? We should inform your Stola and the others. My dear friend, I doubt I will ever be able to thank you enough. But when the conference is successfully concluded, I damn well mean to try.